What's up guys? Today's video is going to be about reading. Uh, I know that's a little different for this channel, I don't often talk about this, but it's clearly something that's impactful for students and it's important for students. And we as adults have to model that and we have to do that and we have to figure out ways to build it into our curriculum. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive into this video. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. As always, if you could support this channel by subscribing, that'd be awesome. A little thumbs up would be good too. That all helps the algorithm. And as always, I'm gonna ask you somewhere in this video to leave a comment down below, ask you a question, want you to interact. That's really important because what we're doing here is we're building a dialogue. We're building a space for people to share out ideas. And this one, this one's super important because we're talking about reading. All right, so, if I was to tell you why this video came about is our school used to have something called ORB. ORB stands for Outside Reading Book. What that means is it can't be what they had to read for class. It can't be, you know, Huckleberry Finn or it can't be The Outsiders or whatever it was currently being read by that curriculum. Uh, couldn't be a textbook. It had to be something that they're choosing to read for pleasure. Now, uh, other than that, the, the, the sky was the limit. They could read, you know, mystery novels. They could read the newspaper. They could read comic books. They just had to be reading. And we used to have a dedicated period within our, we had a six day cycle back then. And we used to have a dedicated period where kids would read for about 30 minutes uh, once a cycle. And that kind of went away. We, we adjusted our schedule and we, we couldn't fit Orb into the sort of new schedule. So, uh, that, that lasted probably a couple years, but then, then people decided like, no, like so, something's missing. Our kids aren't reading for pleasure. And now we could get into whether that's a, a trend that is even changeable. I mean, I think in some respects, society's changing and, and reading's gonna look different and feel different than it did for our generation. I brought you a special present. What is it? Open it up. Book? That's really not the point of this video. The point of the video is we want them to fall in love with reading. Uh, but they're not going to take their time on, them, on their own time to, to try to find that right book. So that's, that's kind of what we're trying to do by bringing Orb back in our school. And this year, being new to Orb, again, we haven't done Orb, like I said, in a couple of years. Uh, I was trying to think of ways to sort of spice that up. And, so far in the three weeks of school, we've, we've done a flashlight reading night, which was super, not night. Kids brought in their book and we sort of turned off all the lights. I covered the windows up and we read by flashlight. That was kind of a fun way to spice it up and they kind of enjoyed it. The second way that I really sort of spiced up Orb was just realizing that kids had a passion about what they were reading about. E even some of the kids that weren't reading the right book were emboldened by the fact that they were able to share their experience. So after we did our little orb, after we did about 30 minutes of reading, uh, I took a time for my sixth graders to circle up. We do this advisory program where we circle up. I said, we're gonna get in the advising circle and we're gonna share out what we've been reading and how we feel about that book. You know, would we recommend it to others? You know, is this one of those that you'd read again kind of thing? And man, did the kids just light up. They loved the, the opportunity to share with their peers what they were reading and what they felt about that book, good or bad. And it was this, it was this sort of freedom moment for them. And so that'd be kind of like a tip for you guys. If you're, if you're starting some sort of reading program where the kids have some choice, make sure you build in that moment where they get to sort of share out and not in a book report sort of way. Cause right as adults, we don't join book clubs and write book reports. We go and we discuss the book. So, Giving that moment to sort of chat about it was great. And I, I heard a lot of kids say like, ooh, I, I wanna read that next, you know? So this, this, is, this is building interest in, in the books. The third idea that I used, I totally took from Carrie Bacham. Check her channel out. Uh, it is an amazing channel, at heck awesome. She does a lot with sketch noting, And on her channel, she does these things called idea floods. And once a month, she puts out a topic and the idea is that you flood your paper with answers to that, and it could be a mix of text and graphics. Really, she always uses this line, there are no rules, right, Carrie? And so what I did with my students was the same. I pulled out 
this giant sheet of butcher paper, laid it on the table, and after we did our orb, after we did 30 minutes of reading, uh, I said, why don't we flood this paper with things that we just read? So not just generically about the book, but what did you just read? What happened in your chapter? What's something that you could pull out? And again, it could be a mix of text as well as graphics. And the students just loved it. It was optional, they didn't have to do it, but there was just a ton of kids that would come up in batch after batch of five or six and start sketching on this butcher paper. And then we hung that outside and again, it was kind of like this pride point in the students. It generated discussions between the students. What does this graphic mean? What, what's happening in your book? And it starts those conversations. But ultimately, I think it centers around the idea of freedom again. They are expressing themselves about their book, good or bad, and sharing that out with you guys. Uh, that, that, I think, is the true zeal, right? You, you, I think readers love reading for pleasure, right? They love just diving into their book. But I think there's a whole huge section of readers who don't read for that. They, they read to connect with others. They read to tell that story, to tell that tale. They read to find information to share those little tidbits, right? We all have that student who loves every little Guinness Book of World Records to share that out. Or that history nerd, I was one of them, who likes to know these little tidbit facts, right? And share those. So I think there's that small percentage that read just for pure pleasure. They could dive in a book any day. But I think we have to admit, most of our students aren't that. The bulk of our students are these people that read to connect with the world around them. Uh, they read to share that story. And so, with that said, trying to build in opportunities for that in your outside reading sort of push would be the, the tantamount. I mean, you guys have to add this into your experience because it's truly what's made, I think in my class, the orb work is that sharing time, not just the reading time. Uh, it's about community, it's about connections. And from that, I think I've seen a better orb experience. Kids then reading more, caring to read more because they know they're gonna share more. So those are some of my early takeaways from this orb. I had to share it with you guys because it's, reading is super important and we, we don't always know how to do it the best. I'm not a reading teacher per se. So having these sort of little experiences to share with you, I hope there's something that you can take away from this and use in your orb uh, because it's valuable. This is all valuable. Now, I said earlier that I want you to comment below. What I want you to comment below on is what are little tricks that you I don't even want to say tricks. What are some tips you have to help others with kind of a reading block like that? When kids read, what are some activities you can attach to that that you found to be really successful and that students have enjoyed that weren't so homework based though? What's something in the moment you could do that was sort of fun and engaging to share out those books? I would absolutely love to see those in the comments because I am learning as I go here. We're building this plane together, and I think together we're stronger. So please, 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 I beg of you, put that comment down below because I wanna learn from you just as much as you're learning from me. This, this is a community. So together, we're better. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Really appreciate it. Until next time, peace. Oh, yeah.